All right, now we have Masaki here, Ichigo's mother. <laughs> uh, I don't really like using Masaki like that. Um, even if I want a purple nad, uh, let's be realistic. She is better than Tokinata. That is true, but me and I'm pretty sure majority of the people would prefer using Tokinata over her. Even though she's much better, like she has hit hidden enemies, um, and she has a shield boost, while Tokinata just has like a boost and no hit hidden enemies and like just worse skills than her. But Masaki is just and for me, like Quincy users are just not that fun in this game. The only fun one is honestly Thousand Year Blood War Uryu, and that's because he has that like ailment reversal thing. But yeah, that's just how it is with Quincy's for me. If you like using Masaki, maybe you like using Masaki. But I think I prefer Tokinata. A majority of the people would prefer using Tokinata over Masaki. But let's see what Masaki can do because she is a pretty good unit. Um, definitely still the best purple nag character in the game, I'd say. Um, I don't think we've had any that's better. But yeah. So she has 781 attack. She has uh, a shield boost, like I said. I'm going to attack that one, which was 20%. Um, no affiliation killer. That's not bad. Berserker 50%, Bruiser plus 60%. That's pretty good for a net. Hanser plus 10 seconds, Flurry plus 1. She has Guard Break. I'm pretty sure Tokenata does too, but... She has Hit Hidden Enemies built in. Poise, Sprinter plus 1. Does she have innate skills? She has Freeze Duration. Not that crazy um, in terms of, like, skills, really, but she is, like, she's definitely a very broken character, right? It, she has Flurry, Guard Break, Hit Hidden Enemies, Whip Poise, and then she has 60% Bruiser, which she basically has 80% normal attack damage built in, with a boost on top, so. And that is broken. Like, realistically, that's correct. Uh, let's see what Derpy has on her. Uh, okay, so he has the Ginto, which is normal attack damage to Quincy's and Stern Ritter, which that is what she is, human, and Quincy, and it says right there. Then we have the hollow bait and the chappy this is a pretty decent build for her obviously her best set would probably be like golden chappy regular chappy hollow bait or golden chappy regular chappy and ginto it's whatever you want honestly like obviously for nag kickers golden chappy and regular chappy are the top two and then your last piece can be one of these two or mainly this for anybody and then whatever the affiliated um normal attack damage is then we got 25 percent tokinata here 25% damage uh, taken, 16% uh, for Zangetsu here, and then 20% normal attack damage here with slow duration. Slow duration doesn't really matter, but it is what it is. He'll get the job done. Let's see what Masaki has to offer real quick. Um, do not like Asian where she boosts. I don't think, is there a Nat character that does that? Stark. I think Stark is the only one that I know of, that I remember, I should say, that like boosts up something. But Stark boosts up strong attack damage. He doesn't even boost up. Um, he doesn't boost up normal attack damage. He just boosts up strong attack damage. But we're not gonna use five here because I'm not using no pot units. Um, she's a human and Quincy affiliated character, so I doubt there's any character that could boost up her damage more, more. Um, uh, or can boost up her damage more. But let's see. Her string average Quincy when I don't like Quincy's at all. They're so useless. Like Quincy's all feel the same. There's no difference like all of them. But let's see. So. First strong attack, she's doing 12k, uh, 12k no boost. That's really good. Um, right again, 12k no boost, 13k there. So you have to double it because it's flurry. So 26k. Let's see how much she's doing with her boost. So I'm not just gonna use it. And she do have the shield. Now she's doing 17, 16k. Like nag characters, I think are more, um, more efficient than SP characters. But I prefer SP characters because it's like. Nad characters, you're not using strong attacks. So I want to use my whole kit when I'm using a character, obviously. Well, like, there's some SP characters that can use their Nad and they still do a lot of damage if they correctly. You know. But SP characters are only useful. Like, you can use their full kit if they have debuffs, I think. Um, realistically, like, besides the boost for Masaki, you're not really using any other strong attack. Um, you can, just to show. But, like, it's or just to give you some kind of space between the two. But I don't think you actually need to. Right, only the boost is the only thing you're gonna use. But if the, she had weaken, if she was a night character that had like weaken or burn on this, then I'd see what you would use the strong attacks. It make the most sense too. Um, but then again, the normal attack would have it too. But I think it proc easier with strong attacks. But yeah, she's hitting around 16, 15, 18k there, so that's 26k. Right? Oh, we have extra stage. Let's see her ult a bit. Again, there's no volume, so let's see though.
yeah like not really crazy i don't really like quincy's at all um well i like quincy i just don't like them in this game because they all feel the same to me but her ultimate was okay i didn't even know it had that little last part where it goes red and black like uh um not red suit i think shuhei right but then again having a boost shield is pretty nice again uh pretty good for auto farming we're gonna try to do this auto next time um right but again she's definitely efficient um i wish she did have debuff so i could use her strong attacks more but i'm really just using it for sure it's pointless to use it though because again those have cooldowns um you're only using the boost not really using the third or first strong attack and yeah i should have collected it. like how much is he gonna do or she how much is she gonna do to side up road he's right there bow 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 like he's gonna hit us uh, i have to dodge here oh, i don't oh my god no range there we go 11k there so 22k i've seen um we're gonna see how well she does auto because again having a boost and shield is really good for a nag character and guard break right with poise um and she has hit hidden enemies so i would say like i think jushiro is still the best like auto well jushiro and aizen are still probably the best auto units in the game um for sp and nad but i think masaki would do just fine um still like she was good before you know what i mean she was good before as like an auto farm unit so let's see so like they're using strong attacks and stuff i think you want to turn that off if you're going to use her only for a farmer but 20k there that's 40k she's doing with her nad my derp doesn't have a golden chappy so she could do a lot more and uh her attack on her transcendence is level one two. Oh, she could be doing a lot a lot more but i think for this farming regular iz um this is okay for something like it you would want to have all those leveled up probably best set if possible but regular it or just regular farming um you'd want this is an okay build, right? This is probably a pretty decent build if you don't have good uh, golden choppy. Actually, her best build if you don't have golden choppy would be the build we have right now. Um, because all those are free to play. You can easily re-roll the choppy, re-roll the Ginto, and you can re-roll the Hollow. But you don't need to summon for those. Um, when I say free to play, because you need to, for Zeta pills, for example, that's a four-star accessory, but you need to summon to get it. You cannot get it from like just merging accessories but those three you can so this is a free-to-play build basically um extra stage again what is the luck she is autoing just fine she hasn't got hit yet with a boost and uh a shield right i don't like the way masaki runs i'm not gonna lie i don't like the way masaki runs he runs so like she... i don't know she runs like a i don't know that's not how she's supposed to be running it's fine. Oh, 21k there. That's not bad. Right? That's the power of having a boost, though. Hey, I will say, that is guaranteed the power of having a boost. Hitting, like, so hard like that. Makes your damage hit harder. But now, with this character like Ukiora, who have spiritual pressure um, attack plus 80%, that's much better, I think, than having a boost, realistically. Um, but even that character is so... It would mean he has no strong attacks. Then again, he has drain on everything, so he does have strong attacks actually. That work. Okay, let's use the Nad here. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, well, Yamamoto. So that was my Yamamoto too. I'm pretty sure that was my Yamamoto, but um, yeah, my Yamamoto carried obviously. But yeah, Mizaki's doing fine. Um, good auto unit. Good, like, just good unit in general. That leaf for the six year anniversary, she lost everything. Best purple, best purple in PvP, and best nad. She lost all those titles, but she's still pretty good. If you have Masaki or you picked her up, big dubs. It's two for two on how good they are. But yeah. Ryuken next. 